Hi guys, Christian here from TCG Buzz, and I'm here to show you a new deck profile, or rather old or ancient deck profile, <laughs> from a post-climax booster. Um, it's Dual Seeger, as you see right here. Now, let's get to it. First off, I run four copies of my buddy, Dual Seeger SD. Uh, it's a, pretty much a free Dual Seeger, uh, regardless regarded as the original dual seeker if it's in the field or drop zone which is very nice and you can also discard it from your hand and pay a gauge and you can search for any other dual seeker in its card name so you can uh search your your next evolution or or set up for your next uh play then i run two copies of the original dual seeker just in case a dual seeker sd does not show up all right now, obviously, that's 727, which is very good, and has double attack in Soul Guard. And you can choose not to uh, use the Soul Guard and evolve into the next evolution if you want to. And then, next in the evolution chain, we have Dual Seeger Spartan. And as you guys would know, uh, when the original Dual Seeger dies, you can notify its lifelink and column. And then you just have a uh, eight, three, two double attack on the field. You want to keep him as long as you want on the field, just because this card is pretty good, and it'll probably let you build up your gauge and your hand for your further turns. Uh, and then, uh, if you fail to keep him on the field, or you going to rush, um, rush uh, suicide seeker, you go into your next form, Dual Seeger, Tempest Enforcer. One of the most scariest cards back when I used to play Body Fight in my early days. Whatever. Um, pretty insane card, 12, 312. And then uh, when a Spartan dies, no fights lifelink, and then you can call him in the field. He has triple attack, penetrate, lifelink lose. So if he dies, yeah, you lose the game. However, we have two different cards to say screw that and say screw your opponent. Let, let's do with the first card that's got uh, gave us more support for Dual Seeger um, as evolutions. We got the impact form of monster of him, Dual Seeger Turbulence. So with a, when a uh, size three Dragon Lord with lifelink dies, you may call him and notify that lifelink. So yeah, you can from either of these other three or I guess four, uh, you can go into this form. I've done that before, and it was pretty funny, and I've sometimes gotten out of it. But anyway, when you call him, your life becomes one, and if your life is at one, you can you gain Penetrate Triple Attack. It has Lifelink 1, so if he dies, you lose, unless you counter gain two life. We'll, we'll just get to that. Anyway, and finally, we got his newest form, which is very insane, very silly. <sighs> Ah, it's a long name. Pinnacle of Martial Arts, Dual Seeger, God Eclipse. Now I'm going to grab this card right here and tell you what he does. When a Dual Seeger Tempest Enforcer on your field is destroyed, notify the lifelink of Dual Seeger Tempest Enforcer and pay to gauge. Wow. All right. But, but why? He, he's a 15 0 15. It's like, oh, it's a card. I'm sorry. Uh, but how, otherwise, you will notice that his ability is when this card gets plus one card for each different card with Dual Seeger and its card name in your drop zone. It has Penetrate, Quadruple Attack, Lifelink, Lose. So with that being said, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six different Dual Seegers in the deck, which is pretty insane. So you can go from our little Tempest Enforcer, from, from Triple Attack, three crit, to four crit, six crit crit possible which is um gg i guess if your opponent has no response all right well that's all the dual seekers and we're just gonna scoop them out of here and bring the support cards to help this deck you know beat every, every other one first off we have four copies of fortune dragon for bolka never got her name right or its name right i should say uh, discard from your hand if you have a size 3 Dragon Lord and gain 2 gauge. And you can spam it. So, hooray. And then we run 
three copies of the newest card that just came out, Lightning Tail Brooder. With this, you can uh, say screw your opponent's counters to uh, destroy monster destruction. Because this card, if you have a size 3 Dragon Lord on your field, this card cannot be destroyed. He has lifelink 1. So you have pretty much a perma size 0 that is always the, uh, so your deck becomes more aggro. I originally had the other two brooders left and right. I took them out for this guy, and uh, I kind of like the flow with this because it's pretty good. However, keep this in mind, guys. If you evolve your dual seeker into like whatever form, people can counter that and still pop them because dual seeker is not on the field for that moment. All right. Now we got to take these fellas away and bring out the spells. Uh, first off, we have the draw engine. Divine Dragon Creation, pay two life, draw two. Basic card that's always been in a dual seeker deck. Then we have four copies of Dragon Emperor Legend, gain a gauge, a life, draw a card. Nice refresh. And then a non choice, might, people might say, I got three copies of uh, Rolling Dragons. Whoops, I almost forgot the name. Now just discard and. Uh, and pay a life, draw two. Um, it works for this deck because I want to set up for the final uh, God Eclipse dual Seeger. So, and sometimes I have dead cards in my hand. So if I already have Spartan on the field and I have a Spartan in my hand, I just usually get rid of said card. And then another weird choice, sometimes, that's what my friends say, three copies of Star, oh my God, Sky Dragon Divinity. Pay, <laughs> yeah, pay a gauge in the life. You can only cast this card if you have 10 cards or less in your drop zone. Put three cards from your drop zone into your deck and draw two, which is nice so you don't deck out immediately. I, I like it. Maybe my opponent milled me uh, a few cards and one of them was Dual Seeger SD. I cast this card to return him back to the deck and then brings us to this card. Pay two life and... Get a size 3 Dragon Lord from your deck and put it into your hand. So that's a nice way you can do that. All right. So now scoop these ones out and I'll show you the next cards. All right. So we, I run four copies of Dragon Wall of the Distant Sea. Pretty good nullify. Uh, I say so myself. You may, you may only cast this card if as an attack on your opponent's turn. Pay a gauge, nullify the attack. Cannot be nullified, which is nice if your opponent uh, has Penetrate and um, a duel, and you might die from that. Cast this, say, ha ha, screw you. Have a nice day. Um, another cool card that I run in this deck, uh, Dragon Blessings. So you can only cast this during your opponent's turn. Uh, pay a gauge, counter, nullify the lifelink, and returns many monsters from the field to your hand. So if you're a uh, dual seeker with lifelink loose, it's going to... Um, get destroyed, return back to your hand, and start over from there. Though sometimes it's pretty hard to do that, but I have it in my hand, or in my deck, just in case. You never know the situation. Then I run two copies of Wrath Trigger. Classic Wrath Trigger, pay a gauge in the life. Uh, counter, uh, I believe is, remains in the field, and the monster gets counterattack for the entire turn, which is nice. You saw me that I used it when he was about to get destroyed. So I kept it on the field. Boom, it works. And then I run three copies of 100 Demon Sorcery. All right, bear with me, guys. Rene, Rene Ryusho. Cool. Uh, counter, pop your destroy monster on your field and put a attack card your deck into the gauge only once per turn. So now we have a turbo, the Seeger Turbo, or Seeger Suicide, which is pretty fun. Kill your dual seeker and go into the next form during your turn and screw your opponent over, which is awesome. I'll scoop these cards away and show you the next batch. These are like my gauge gaining and life gaining. So we got two copies of loyal, uh, loyal dragons and courage. So with this, um, it's a lot of text on this card. You may cast this card if you have a size 3 ancient world monster on the field. Choose one of the following two. Search your deck up to one size 0, call it without paying its call cost, and shuffle your deck. 
Now, and the second option is put this card into a self of a size three dragon lord on your field, which I usually put on Spartan, so I can gain gauge when he attacks. So when a dragon lord in this card name soul attacks, gain a gauge once per turn. Awesome. And then I run two copies of Unwielding Dragon. Counter, gain two life. Basic. So if I have this guy on the field and my opponent kills it, counter, gain two life, I'm not dead. All right, and then I, or burn damage, you know. And then I run two copies of Dragon Dreams, gain three life. Some people say this card is bad. Kind of agreed, because it's not a counter. However, Dragon Dreams have saved my butt so many times in this deck which is not even funny, which is like, wow, amazing. Also, you know, burn is going to become a thing, I guess, in the next set, so yeah. And then finally, I run Sky Pillar Armor <sighs> Doriamarati. Sure, pretty much I use it to gain gauge and return cards from my drop zone back to my deck so I can... Uh, probably use them with like dual seeker sd or counter or you know get my dragon back also you know just pretty much just to gain gauge that's pretty much it and return cards from my drop zone and that's pretty much it that's my deck profile for dual seeker uh from the latest set you know post climax booster i hope you guys enjoyed and uh I will post a this you know the deck list in the description below. Also, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for the number notifications. All right? And thank you for watching. We want to thank our sponsor Frost Giants Games for making this show possible. Frost Giants Games is Wisconsin's game store of choice for board games, Magic the Gathering and other card games. Check them out at www.frostgiantgames.com.